So today, <laughs> so today yarn is a little bit of mix. This is the my usual eagle eagle knitting four ply yarn, and this is the DK from the hobby craft in UK. So this one is from Thailand, and this one is the UK DK yarn. I'm just gonna compare it for you guys. It actually the same four ply, but the DK is how to say that the, the DK is slightly bigger. But we're just gonna stick with one crochet hook, so it should be fine. And this is what it looked like with the white yarn, or with the eagle four ply yarn. So we will see after this how the different yarn will affect the sh the size of the wool in the sheep. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the wool color. Whatever you plan to do, I'm gonna do uh, pastel blue, and we're gonna start with six single crochet into the circle. You can start with magic ring you can start with any way as long as you end the first round with six single crochet in a circle shape i'm gonna do two chain and twist it down grab it twist it up hook this through and now we got the first chain And second chain, then six single crochet into the first chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull this to make sure it closely tight and this work we are gonna work in spiral so there's no slip stitch to close the round next we are going to do uh, increase all around so two single crochet into each stitch for six times so one single crochet into the next stitch one into the same stitch to do the increase one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the same stitch we're repeating this in total of six times so this is increase number three increase number four five and increase number six Next round is single crochet into the next stitch and increase. One single crochet to the next stitch and increase. And repeating that in the total of six set. So one single crochet into the next stitch, then increase in the next stitch. So one to the next stitch and one in the same stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and two into the next stitch for increase. This is two set and one to the next stitch, increase number three, one into the next stitch, increase number four, one into the next stitch, increase number five. One into the next stitch and increase number six. Next round, we are going to do single crochet into the next two stitch and increase. One, two, and increase. And the same, repeat it all in total of six set. So one into the next stitch, two in another one into the next stitch one two and then increase number one 
one single crochet then two single crochet and increase number two one single crochet two single crochet increase number three one single crochet two single crochet increase number four one single crochet two single crochet increase number five one single crochet uh, two single crochet increase number six and that's it for the for the wool size we're gonna do two of this and it not focus <laughs> and as you can see it may look a little bit like hexagon if your turn out very edgy like the, the the angle here is very sharp may instead of doing one two increase one two increase you do increase first then one two increase first then one two in state I hope that understandable and I'm gonna do uh, where's the scissor so left some length of yarn for sewing for this piece fast enough okay fast enough and make another one the same without without the long yarn tail okay guys i forgot i forgot after I, <laughs> I forgot to slip stitch to close this oh my god my brain okay this is the second piece it's fine we're gonna sew this anyway so after we finish the last stitch continue from previously we slip stitch to close it i forgot the slip stitch oh my god <laughs> there uh, this one we don't need a long tail because there hook this to the back and so we're gonna sew this together afterward and try to make this look neat <laughs> I forgot slip stitch oh my god okay leather next we're gonna do his face and i use the one that i normally use for human color but for the for the blue blue sheep i'm just gonna change the color a little bit so i'm gonna darken the face a little bit with this brown bait color i'm not sure this is for the horns uh let's start here for the face we start the same actually it's the same pattern as this but we only do two round so if you cannot catch this process i'm gonna go a little bit faster since it's exactly the same six single crochet into the circle then increase all around slip stitch and fasten off so if you cannot catch this go back to that part tutorial it's exactly the same with the different yarn so six single crochet into a circle two three four five six put it tight there and increase all around oh, too tight one two three number one increase number two increase number three 
increase number four. Increase number five. No, I accidentally hooked this in. And lastly, increase number six. Slip stitch to cross the round. Leave some length of yarn for sewing. I need to change the scissor. This one. <laughs> Fast enough. And there's a little bit of hole in there. Put it tight. Very, very tight. Okay. That's the face. And next is the horns. The horns. <laughs> That's two of them. Oops. This basically is six single crochet into the circle or the first round of these two pieces. So, again, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. If you cannot catch it going back, it basically is a six single crochet in a circle shape. You can do magic ring. Yes, I'm just gonna do six single crochet on the first chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Slip stitch to close the round. Leave some length yarn for sewing. this tight and close make another one that look exactly the same okay uh, I'm gonna speed up the video this is exactly the same okay everyone now we have all the pieces just gonna start symbol so I'm gonna start with the one the one with the chart tail for easy manage the tail <laughs> to make sure that it's not tangled to each other um, just gonna sew everything in there just simple up and down motion and for this, okay, focus. This, the top is going to be, this is the center, right? The top is going to touch the end of the first round, right here. This is the position that I am going with. And try to make sure that it center on the left and right. Hide the tail at the back. And sew it just up and be careful not to tangle that tail. Sew it up and down to make sure things is secure. For the horn, we just gonna sew half of it to this and make sure it there around here. It's gonna be like on the same level as eyesight. So here, this circle of the face piece, this one, and should be aligned with this one, the the horns piece, and sew it together. So is it a bit? Okay.
before we closing this I'm gonna use a black cotton thread you can use normal black black thread this one is like the cotton thread for crochet the summer clothes the summer cardigan something like that but I just didn't end up doing it so I'm mainly using this for uh, embroidery the face of the door it's faster because it because the thread is a lot thicker than the normal sewing tree thread <laughs> but yeah or you can just use black yarn to embroidery the eyes refer back to the cat's videos for comparison of the using this and using the black yarn to make the face the droopy eye <laughs> okay uh the eyes be around here and a little bit slanting down hopefully i can make both eye equal and try to make it a little slanting that's it slanting down go through it a couple of times to make it thicker and another eye this is the challenge try to make it in the same angle here Now I feel like the left eye is a little bit thicker than the right, so I'm just gonna go on the right side again. There. And the nose should be under the first first round here. It's a bit toward <laughs> Try to ignore this. <laughs> okay. Is it okay? Mm, maybe another time. Another time. Then the battery is gonna die, it's gonna die. And then we're just gonna sew this piece at the back, right side out, right side out, and try to make the this part and this part as smooth as possible. Ah the battery is going to die soon. Hi, all the mess at the back. Um, can we? Okay. 
Okay. I'll charge the battery. Uh, sewing it up and down and when we reach the top of the head, we I am gonna sew the keychain to it. Sewing in a couple of times to make sure it's secure. We just keep going. After that, we just run the yarn a couple of times and run it through in the middle of the pieces and hold this tight enough. If you hold this yarn tight enough, when you cut the yarn close to the edge here, it should snap back inside and you won't see any in. Yep. pink yarn I forgot to mention you can use the pink yarn to embroidery the cheek but I am just I'm just gonna use the blush I got the old brush on that I didn't use anymore one cut on butt one cut on butt and dip this in the brush and hold on tight and then squish it in there and another size as well knock the excess off behind the camera and it should stay even though you touch it it won't it won't leave any trace on your fingers and it won't smudge but yep done pretty cheap oh yeah so cute I'm gonna make another one with pink yarn this face color but pink yarn, pink wool, and you see. And this is the pink one that I just made. And our, our tutorial is done. What do you think of this tutorial? Do you, which one? Oops. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? The white, the blue, and the pink. And what do you want to see next? Comment down below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And it's even better if you can comment something down below. Even just a sticker is fine. And we'll see you again in the next video. 
see you again everyone bye bye and have a nice day